Mr. Speaker, words are not sufficient to express our appreciation for all of those who are It's been tough la, for all of the healthcare workers. I'm also worried that I'm actually bring back the virus to my own family. La. Tendency is they will try to walk away or avoid us. La. My family do know that I'm involved in a contact tracing operation, so they do have concerns that I might get infected. It's a calling for us drivers, uh, not just to drive on the roads, but I believe that we can give back to the society. My kid now see me as a hero. <laughs> this year's part of NDP being a tribute to uh, the healthcare workers, right? I'm honoured and thankful that we are being appreciated. And I strongly believe together we can win the battle. Words are not sufficient to express our appreciation for so many Singaporeans going all out to fight the virus. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's doing their part. Rise and shine, Singapore! My goodness, it is National Day and this is our Straits Times NDP 2020 live show. She is Renee. And he is Harianto. And we are coming to you live from the Padang this Sunday morning to celebrate the nation's birthday. I'm very excited, Renee. As yes. uh, for those of you, of course, just tuning to us right now, I think, I don't know whether you can hear in the background, mm -hmm. Home is playing. Yeah. Very fitting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to the opening yeah. of our show, right? Exactly. <laughs> now, if you're watching us, don't forget to let all your friends and family members know that we are online on Facebook, on YouTube and on yes. Twitter as well. And I see a lot of you leaving your messages as well. Uh, continue to leave your birthday wishes for Singapore and we'll read them out during uh, the show. Yes, and of course we are not alone at the Padang today. Our colleagues will also be bringing you live action from all across Singapore today. So we have for the Red Lions who are going to be parachuting at two locations in the heartlands. The mobile column who is going to be roaming all around Singapore. Uh, we have concurrent flag raising ceremonies at different locations and also a special watch party. So do stay tuned for that. I'm very excited about the watch party, really, yeah, yeah right? I think it's going to uh, be quite you, something. We hope you guys yeah. are excited as well. So we're going to go all the way till uh, 11 this mm -hmm. morning, right? So what we're going to do is, we're going to, this part covers the pre-parade show, and then once uh, the parade starts at 10 a.m., we will take you through uh, the parade ceremony as well, all yes. the way till 11. Yep. Yep. Yeah, And of course, and this year's parade mm. is a very different one, of course. We are celebrating amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, that's right. But hey, you know, mm. yes, that not dampened our spirits yet. We are still very excited. We are still raring to go. And you know, we are very excited to be reporting to you here uh, from the Padang. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you can see also here uh, the numbers of spectators uh, scaled down as well. You know, from the usual tens of thousands, there is only about 150 this time around and uh, everybody is observing safe distancing measures uh, yeah. people are you know seated uh, apart like how we are we're yeah, apart as we're well we're standing apart <laughs> maintaining safe distancing as yeah. you can see and even the contingent <laughs> as well is uh, scaled down from uh, over 30 in the previous years yeah. to just about 5 yes. this year so yeah definitely a lot of precautions in place for a safe NDP this year mm, and it's all and we're all fan out across Singapore right mm -hmm. to uh, celebrate this day uh, as a nation yeah yeah let's uh, read some comments right here I have from Lim Chi Ting that says happy birthday Singapore and then uh, we have Joycelyn Yip happy 55th birthday Singapore and uh, Maricel Lumark says happy 55th birthday Singapore as well mm, let's read one more let's see oh we have Trisha Cat 
Mm, yeah. Yes. Uh, blessed National Day. May we be a more just, caring, and compassionate nation. Enjoy your long weekend. Very yeah, nice message very right nice there. Very nice message. Again, I'll let all your friends and family members know that we are live on Facebook, YouTube, and on Twitter as well. And don't forget to leave your birthday messages for Singapore in the comments section, and we will read them out. Yes. Mm. Yep. And as we are celebrating Singapore's 55th birthday, um, the Straits Science actually went out to speak to 55 people to ask them what they love about Singapore. Here's a look. Why I love Singapore? Singapore is a very peaceful country. Security wise, very good. You feel safe in Singapore. People can walk around in any time of the day. I think it's a safe environment to grow up to. The defense forces are like strong. We feel protected. You can walk around at 3 4 a.m. in the morning and you feel safe. I can get kopio kosong at midnight. I like the fact that we actually can drink directly from our tap waters. The food. The different types of food. I can try the different types of food available instead of just trying from my own culture. I see lemak. I love nasi biryani. It's awesome. It's delicious. Compared to other countries, I still love Singapore, the tap waters. That's like a certain taste that unique to Singapore. We're also moving towards a more diverse society where we have more voices in Parliament. We have more opposition voices, more women in Parliament. Our politics have evolved, our country has evolved. I love the racial harmony. Diverse culture. The social harmony. The multiracial uh, society. We uh, overlook um, our differences. And we're willing to learn from one another. So what do you love about Singapore? I love I love watching jets flying. Like there's a lot of places for me to like hang out with friends. Like the uh, Marina Bay Sands, always my favorite place. There's a lot of places to uh, uh, play sports around. I like the Singapore. I five years uh, working in Singapore. There's opportunity here for everyone. Singapore has been my home for like over ten years. The people here have been like very welcoming. I have many friends from Singapore. My family is here in this place. My family is here in this place. My family can see and see and see. I love the people here. Because we are here in Singapore, we are here to be together. It's nice to be together. In a word, unity. In fact, now I'm going to help to distribute the National Day Fun Pack. I feel wasted. I don't have the lion mask. <laughs> Very uh, uh, hygienic. The weather, no other city has uh, this kind of uh, humidity. But uh, still can see a lot of green. Singapore is very beautiful. There is a lot of efficiency. The public transportations are good. It's very accessible. Uh, it's very convenient and very uh, easy to get around. I like the fact that the school is very close to my house and I don't have to walk a lot. I'm very proud of Singapore's education system. The education now for the kids are more better than last time. Then now our uh, COVID-19 problem also. Uh, see the Singapore all nicely controlled. The government has put a lot of um, good measures into place. I'm blessed to be here at this time. It's a privilege to, to be here. Because Singapore is my country. I'm a Singaporean, born in Singapore. I love Singapore. Happy birthday, Singapore. Happy birthday. Wow, my goodness. So, Renee, tell us, you know, what do you love about Singapore? Well, I think I love the fact that we can get so many different types of food here, all different types of cuisines. I think it's the one thing I miss most when I'm overseas. What about you? Ah, that's true. You know, what I like about Singapore is the... Uh you know, different races coming together, different languages. And in fact, we see that, right, in the video earlier on, people speaking in different languages, you mm. know. But one thing, of course, you know, everybody here at the same time also understands uh, one another. And uh, that's one. And of course, my family, friends, they are all here as yes, well. Yes, definitely. Yeah, right. Yeah. So those are some <laughs> things that I love about Singapore. So for yeah. those of you who are joining us right now, you know, we are coming to you live from the Padang. Weather is great. Um, it was a bit warm earlier on, but right now it's just nice. Yeah, <laughs> we're not getting sunburned out here. <laughs> exactly, so let uh, all your friends and family members know that we are online, but more importantly, leave your birthday messages uh, in the comment section below and let us know right, what is it about Singapore that you love most. Yes, yeah? and of course we want to give a shout out to all those Singaporeans who might be watching us from overseas as well. You know, it's, you know, although you're not at home, but we're all still united together here. Yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right. So those are you know, uh, the different uh, things that we look 
forward to here being yeah. here in Singapore, yeah. right? And in fact, talking about family and friends, right? One of our colleagues, uh, Yo Sam Jo, is actually with a family right now, and he hmm. has more for us. Yes. Let's check in with Sam Jo. Sam Jo. Hi Jan, hi Renee. Yes, I am in a mysterious location. All right. Um, first of all, happy birthday, Singapore. In case you're wondering, what am I doing at this like random house, right? We're actually in Coven, and this is the house of uh, fighter pilot Lieutenant Shidan Swa from the Republic of Singapore Air Force. As he's actually one of the six pilots who will be doing uh, the Raw of Unity fly pass. It's happening in just about an hour, and so he'll be soaring past the heartland. And uh, we're actually at his home right now because his family, including his nine-month-old daughter and his 99-year-old grandfather are inside and they're really, you know, all pumped and ready to watch him uh, fly over them. So they're actually in there having a little, like, National Day gathering as most families do on this public holiday. So why don't we go pay them a visit? Let's say hi. Hello! Happy, Happy National Day! Happy National, Happy National Day! Day. Yes. Thanks for having yes. us. Yes, please welcome. Okay, please come on in, please come on in. Thank you. Wow, thanks for letting us in your house. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Yeah. How's everyone doing? Yes? Yeah? Great. Good? Good. The energy is good. I love how everyone's wearing red or like pink. Yeah. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. That's, that's nine-month-old Chloe. She is uh, Shadan's daughter, nine-month-old daughter. Hi. Oh, she's so adorable. Okay, so I'm going to introduce everyone because it's quite a big family that you all have here. Uh, but of course, we have uh, Dr. Swa, who is uh, Shidan's dad and Shidan's mom. Uh, Mrs. Swa, hello. Thanks for having us. Thanks for hosting us. And then we have uh, Sean over there. He is uh, Shidan's brother-in-law. And this is Shireen, Shidan's sister. And this is Mr. Swa Ju Hock. He is Shidan's akong, right? Hello, akong. Akong, uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes. He just said um, um, happy National Day to everyone and he said, uh, you know, may Singapore uh, uh, be safe and peaceful. That's why he said. And this is Perlin, uh, Shidan's wife. Hi. And of course, Myrna, um, Shidan's, uh, the family's helper who actually took care of Shidan since he was a little baby, since he was about this age, Chloe's age, right? <laughs> So it's nice to have everyone coming together. I, um, I, what are you most excited about later? Oh, the whole celebration, mm. okay, the national birthday of Singapore. Yeah. This is something we are all excited about. Yeah, mm. me too. And yeah. you know, and you know, this year there's no parade, like you know, and uh, there's. I mean, there is a parade, but there isn't a, a very big. You know, uh, everyone gathering at the Padang or floating platform as in previous years because of COVID, right? So most families are actually at home watching um, the parade from home, um, like you guys. And the fact that, you know, we're all here, all dressed in red, I do feel like there's a, a lot of festive energy. So thanks for uh, making me feel festive. I'm also in my red and white and I'm super <laughs> excited. And I hope you guys watching at home are also super excited. Um, we'll be coming back to the... Uh, We'll be coming back here. We'll be making our way to the roof in just about an hour to watch the Raw of Unity fly past. So that, um, yeah, so more from the Swa soon. But until then, back to you guys at the Padang. Yay. Bye. See you all later. Thank you, Sam Jo. Thank you. I have to say, I love Sam Jo's outfit. Yeah, it's like yeah. red and white. It's like, you know, Very super festive, national day. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, of course, for those of you who have just uh, joined us, a warm welcome to you. This is our Straits Times NDP 2020 live show, and we are coming to you live from the Padang. Earlier on, uh, our colleague Sam Jo was actually with a family, right, who is uh, watching. Uh, the parade together mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and it's very very special for them because uh, something is going to happen later lah. we're not going to yeah. we're not going to reveal we're it we're not going to spoil the surprise yeah, we, yeah there is a reason why we chose that specific family yeah? yes yes yeah, so, all right. stay, so do remember to stay tuned mm. yes okay <laughs> uh, Renee I see more messages coming here okay. uh, we have from Susan that says I love Singapore Happy birthday, Singapore. And Arlene says, Blessed National Day to our land, our home, Singapore. This year, we celebrate in a very different way compared to the past years. And yet, the spirit is here. I'm very proud to be Singaporean. Oh, very nice. And a mm. lot of people are wishing a happy 55th birthday, yeah. Singapore. We have a last... Okay, we'll take one last one here from Nansiem that says, Happy 55th. 
five years, Singapore, we will continue to stay united as one, grateful to our government for keeping us safe and peaceful for many, many years, and also our future generations. Continue your good work. We appreciate what had been done. Aww. Wow. Very nice wishes. Yeah. So what's happening right here, we're just going to give you a bit of an update what's happening at the uh, Padang. We are all waiting for the parade to start, the morning parade to start at about 10 a.m. Yeah. Uh, right here, what we can see so far is, of course, uh, we have the seats that are placed apart uh, because of safe distancing measures. And there is about 150 spectators we're expecting yep. today. Yep. They'll mm. be in three different groups. They're seated in three different groups at, right here at the Padang. Yeah. And of course, if you can hear the National Day song in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So National Day songs are playing as well. <laughs> and from where we are, we can also see the marching contingent uh, just uh, right yes, behind right across a little from bit us. as well. So again, Rene, marching contingent wise, it's also scaled down. What used to be more than about uh, more than thirty, uh, now we have just about five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's five. a very scaled down, very subdued affair, but the celebration and the mood is still there. Yes, we're still very excited to be having NDP. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Again, uh, for those of you, of course, uh, watching us, let us know, right, where are you watching from? You know, are mm. you watching from home or are you at the different spots uh, across Singapore as well or, where celebration is taking place? Yeah, or if, if you are overseas, do let us know as well. Yeah, yeah. and talking about, you know, uh, celebrating across Singapore, we have... Uh, the Red Lions earlier on happening at two locations, right? Yes. One was at Sengkang General Hospital and another one was at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital and we have uh, our colleagues there. Yes, mm. so our colleagues Olivia Kuei and Dylan Ang were there earlier to catch the Red Lions landing in action. So let's, uh, let's take you over to Olivia who will tell you what happened there earlier. Happy 55th birthday, Singapore. Olivia Kuei here and a very good morning from Sengkang. We are eagerly anticipating and awaiting the arrival of the Red Lions parachutists. And by we, I mean me and hundreds of people who have come down to Sengkang to see the Red Lions land on this very field. Now, of course, as you know, it is the first time the Red Lions will be landing in the heartlands in Sengkang here, as well as in Jurong. Now, why Sengkang? Well, as you know, NDP 2020 is a tribute to our frontline heroes amid the COVID-19 pandemic, including, of course, the healthcare professionals. And Sengkang is especially chosen because just down the road in front of me is Sengkang General Hospital. And that is where uh, where the, the was one of the hospitals that had been treat that has been treating a COVID-19 patients for a few months now, and some of the hospital's doctors have also been inside the foreign worker dormitories to do swab tests on these workers and make sure that they are healthy as well. You can see the C-130 plane that will that is carrying the six Red Lions parachutists. There we go. Come guys, if you can see, the Red Lions have already deployed their parachutes and they are kicking off this year's National Day celebrations on a high, quite literally. Right now, no, they just seem like dots in the sky, but very soon, in a few minutes, they'll be landing right at the feet of the residents. And if you could hear just now, the cheers just went up as the plane flew by and the six parachutists were spotted. There we go, and he's of course carrying the SD United banner. And second one will be landing very shortly. And the crowd is simply going wild. Well, we are expecting six parachutists to land. Of course, they are made up of Major Neil Chun Chia making his NDP debut. Third Warrant Officer Jeffrey Heng. Second Warrant Officer Ong Ka Soon, who's the team leader as well. First Warrant Officer Melvin Ho. First Warrant Officer Lim Chun Heng. And Second Warrant Officer Shirley Ong.
goodness, that was exciting. Yeah, you know, I've always looked forward to the Red Lions every year. Me too. I think it's my favorite part of the parade. Yeah, actually. exactly. Yeah. Okay, like I would say it's one of my favorites <laughs> because I favorites. have other favorites as well, yeah, which yeah. I will be sharing. <laughs> Again, for those of you who have just joined us, we are coming to you live from the Padang. She's Renee, and he's Harianto. And do keep your comments and birthday wishes for Singapore coming. Exactly right. Yeah. So we were reading earlier on comments. We have. Um, People watching from all over the yes, world. Yes, I think from South Africa, from Myanmar, from Melbourne and Sydney, really all over the world. Exactly, but wherever you are, uh, of course, you know, do keep safe uh, while you enjoy today. Yes, right? of course. And again, <laughs> uh, for those of you who are just watch, uh, watching us as well, we are live on Facebook, YouTube and on Twitter. And uh, leave your birthday messages. Tell us what you love about Singapore. Tell us where you're watching from. Uh, there are people also <laughs> saying that they're watching from Bukit Panjang. Oh, from yes. Clark from Key, yeah, yeah. You know, from all around Singapore. From so all around Singapore. Not to forget well. them as not well. <laughs> Exactly. And you know, right, at, and, and this is the reason why we have this celebration across Singapore this year, right? So that, you know, everybody gets to enjoy yes. um, instead of just having it at one centralized location. Correct, correct. You, as you can see earlier on uh, in the video that uh, Olivia brought to us, you know, there were crowds and people taking pictures. People are just enjoying, yes. you know. And why it's happening at the hospital is because? It's because it's a tribute to our frontline fighters who, you know, uh, we are paying tribute to their efforts in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, of course. Mm. So, Renee, mm. earlier on we saw Olivia who was at Sengkang. Who do we have next? Yeah, so next we have Dylan who is at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital and the Red Lions also landed there. So let's take a look at what happened over there. Now, good morning everyone. Let me start off by saying happy 55th birthday to Singapore. Uh, we, I'm standing here in front of a multi-story car park at Toguan Road and we are very close to Ng Teng Fong General Hospital. And we, the Red Lions are scheduled to arrive here any moment now from the sky. So we are just anticipating the Red Lions to be uh, arriving any moment now. I'm seeing the first look of the C-130 plane carrying the Red Lions. There we go, we see the first look at the six parachutists uh, have been, they've been jumping from the plane. Now the crowd over here uh, is getting very excited, it's a very electrifying atmosphere. I see a lot of Singaporeans uh, coming out, they're all dressed up in red and white and waving their Singapore flags and uh, you know, sending their love and encouragement to the six red lions that are in the sky right now. Oh, the first red lion appears to be reaching uh, any moment now. Big cheers of support for the first red lion to made his descent. Here comes the second red lion holding it with a banner that says One Singapore. Amazing sight as you see the third Red Lion making his descent. Now this year's NDP 2020, uh, Singapore's 55th birthday, would feature the theme Together a Stronger Singapore and focus on Singaporeans celebrating at home. Now the fourth Red Lion with a banner that says Our Heart for SG. And the final two Red Lions are making their descent right now. Smooth landing. Now the crowd are still very excited and going, uh, giving their support to the final Red Lion who has just touched down. And a very successful uh, Red Lions uh, jump over here at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital. We go with the Red Lions uh, giving a wave and treated to a very warm welcome by the public who have gathered here to give them their support. So on the screens right now, you can see the six red lions waving to everyone who has come out to give them their support. Now a salute to the nation on Singapore's 55th birthday celebration. 
Thanks, Dylan. Now, very exciting stuff there, right again. Very <laughs> exhilarating, you yeah. know, just to kind of uh, see the Red Lions do their successful yes, landing. as they parachute right? down and everyone just claps and cheers for them. Yeah, yeah. and I just read one comment earlier on, Rene, uh, in our comment section by Zachary Sebastian that says, okay. thankful for the clear sky so that the Red Lions can do the jump. Indeed. We are very grateful yeah. as well right here at the Padang. It is cooling you know yes. it's sunny but it's still cooling yeah. as well yeah. so very good weather to have the indeed, morning celebration indeed. right here yes right yeah. again uh, if you want to watch all our NDP clips uh, if you're watching us on YouTube in fact we have a NDP YouTube uh, YouTube NDP list playlist mm -hmm. right where you can uh, watch all the NDP related videos there yes and of course mm -hmm. uh, you know we are coming to you live from the Padang we are still waiting for the parade to start but the atmosphere is already here you know we can hear the NDP songs playing in the background and people exactly. are starting to arrive yeah. so yeah very exciting and uh, let us know you know again your birthday messages in the comment section tell us where you're watching from a lot of people are watching from uh, us from overseas you know people in melbourne down under in australia uh, even uh, from our neighboring countries as well in myanmar in malaysia in indonesia so happy to see all of you uh, let all your friends and family members know that we are live right now yes yeah? and right here at the padang again uh, we're just waiting for the crowd to come in this year like what uh, we mentioned earlier on it's a bit more subdued mm -hmm. instead of the tens of thousands of spectators we're are expecting we're about 150 50. spectators yeah but that's not going to dampen our spirits of course no nope, it's not <laughs> yeah and even the marching <laughs> contingent as well right Renee? yeah it's, yeah it's scaled down to about five contingents this year mm. as compared to the 30 plus uh, that were here last year exactly yeah. and of course mm -hmm. uh, the uh, president halima yakub will be here and uh, prime minister lee sen long as well will be here yes. with uh, some other ministers mm -hmm. while the other uh, mps and ministers are also all over singapore as well fanning out uh, across singapore uh, joining in the celebration with our Singaporeans. Yes. Mm. And you know, one special feature of the NDP this year is that the raising of the state flag at the Padang is going to coincide ah. with uh, the raising of the flag at seven other locations across Singapore. And these locations are supposed to represent uh, Singapore's key sectors during the right. COVID-19 pandemic. Right. And yep. I know that one of our colleagues yep. is at Changi Airport, right? And yes. why Changi Airport? Of course, it represents uh, our tourism uh, industry. Yes. Right? And travel. Mm. Yeah. So we have uh, our colleague Kimberly Zhao at uh, Changi Airport. Let's check in with Kim. Kim, how are things doing over there? Thanks, Harianto. I'm Kimberly Zhao coming to you live from Changi Airport. Now, as mentioned, this is one of the eight locations where the National Anthem Moment will be held and we'll be seeing the flag raising that will be in a bit, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's also going to be uh, where the Singaporeans will be encouraged to join in and sing along to the national anthem at 10.30 a.m. Now, Changi is uh, one of the hardest hit industries of this pandemic uh, due to the stopping of tourism and travel. Uh, so, you know, as you can see here, we're not expecting a lot of crowds to be joining us. Uh, however, they will be guests, uh, including some of our newly sworn in ministers, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, newly minted MPs and a minister for transport, Mr. Ong Yi Kang. Now that's all from us over here at Changi Airport. Back to you at the Padang. Well, thank you so much, Kim. Uh, so our new transport minister, Minister Ong Yikang, is going to be there as yes, well. Yes, yeah. Yeah, celebrating uh, and of course witnessing the uh, uh, flag raising ceremony. Yes, and yeah. uh, where everyone will sing the national anthem together in unison. Mm. And that yeah. is happening around what time? Uh, uh, I think it's about 10.30 about if I'm not 10 wrong. 10.30, right. And it's yes. going to be coinciding with uh, all other seven locations. Yes, uh, With the right. Padang, of course, being the main one here. Yes. Right? And for those of you who have just joined us, uh, once again, this is our ST NDP 2020 live show. We are coming Coming to you live on our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter pages. And if you're wondering, this lovely lady right here in red is Renee. And this is Harianto right here beside me. <laughs> exactly. And again, for those of you who have just tuned in, let all your friends and family members know that we are online. Leave your birthday messages, your wishes, what you hope for Singapore, what you love about Singapore, what you miss about Singapore. Yeah. If you're overseas, <laughs> in the comment section. And of course, this is a special NDP uh, that's paying tribute to our frontline work as well so do leave your comments and uh, you know tributes for them in the comments as well yeah, exactly yeah. or you could also you know leave us tell us let us know what is your favorite NDP song yeah yeah know, what anything. is your favorite NDP song Renee actually mine is home 
Ah, yeah. okay. I think it's a lot of people's yeah. favorite. It right? is. It oh? is. Yes, yeah. it is. I like the one uh, by <laughs> Tanya Chua. I think. Where oh. I belong. Ah, where I okay, came. Okay. okay. I'm not going to continue singing, <laughs> or people are going to switch off and yeah, not watch yeah, our yeah. live anymore. <laughs> but okay, I will be reading some comments right yeah. here. Uh we have. No, Shazwani Husni that says, yay! Yay, yay. as well. Oh, this is a pretty oh, gif right Someone here. left a happy birthday gif, Agnes Koo. Happy birthday to Singapore. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, Sean Chu who says, happy birthday, Singapore. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we have Francis T. Raja, happy 55th birthday, Singapore. And we have Jenny Leong, proud to be Singaporean. Happy birthday, Singapore. Mm. We have yeah. uh, Gemini Sai that says, we'll be here watching from home. Happy birthday, Singapore. Yeah, I think people are generally yeah. watching from home. Yeah. Uh, or even uh, watching at uh, the different locations as well, right? Yes. Specific locations. And we have a lot of people watching from overseas as well, as we mm. saw earlier. In fact, you yeah. know, I saw one <laughs> comment that says, oh, I'm watching in bed uh, at Bedok Reservoir. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> get out, get out of bed and come join us, you know. Uh, just head out. There are different spots uh, of uh, celebration, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, ar- Across Singapore. Now, Rene, on top of just the celebration that is happening here in the morning at the Padang, there is also later on the evening show as well. Yes. At Star Vista. Yes. And, yeah? and then followed by, of course, our favourite fireworks. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. And we'll be sharing more about the yeah. uh, evening show later on. Mm-hmm. So do stick around with that. Yes. Again, for those of you who are watching us, you know, we are coming to you live from the Padang. Yes, definitely. Mm. And uh, continue to leave your message messages uh, for Singapore. Yeah? Let's see. Who else do we have? Uh, we have Lynn Mock that says, Happy NDP, be happy and safe. Mm, all right. Now, before we continue, uh, we have our Prime Minister Lee Sen Long with his address to the nation. So let's have a look. My fellow Singaporeans, every year, rain or shine, Singaporeans come together on the 9th of August for the National Day Parade to celebrate the making of our nation and renew our commitment to Singapore. I've been privileged to attend almost every NDP since the first in 1966. One of the parades I took part in was in 1968 at the Padang. The rain poured down, but the contingents stood steady and marched past proudly, drenched yet undaunted. We showed ourselves and the world that Singaporeans were rugged people and had the steel in us to stand firm in adversity. Five years ago, SG50 was another memorable parade. We celebrated our golden jubilee and what we had achieved in Singapore. We also paid tribute to our founding prime minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. We mourned his passing that year but also affirm what he and the pioneer leaders stood for. In good years, our parades rejoice in our progress and look forward to a better future together. In difficult years, we still hold National Day parades to renew our resolve to weather the storm and take Singapore through to better days. This year, National Day falls amidst COVID-19. We are not able to celebrate in our usual way, but we are determined still to hold the parade as a symbol of our unity as a nation, like we have done every year since independence. We will have a smaller parade at the Padang and also ceremonies at seven other locations around the island this morning. Each location will symbolize one aspect of our response to COVID-19. Providing medical care for Singaporeans at NCID. Supporting our workforce with skills and jobs at the Lifelong Learning Institute. Keeping learning going for our students at North Vista Secondary School. Or sustaining our community spirit at Kampong Admiralty. We look forward to Singaporeans across the island and also in far-flung lands 
joining the parade virtually and celebrating with one another. We will all share special moments, like when the Red Lions land, the mobile column reaches our town, or the state flag is flown past. We will all recite the pledge and sing Majula Singapura in our hearts together. This NDP is also an opportunity for us to salute those on our front line fighting COVID-19. Many of them have gone way beyond the call of duty and shown great generosity of spirit. Retired doctors and nurses volunteered to come back donning PPE to serve on the front lines in hospitals and migrant worker dormitories. Full-time national servicemen extended their terms to continue supporting COVID-19 operations. Public officers volunteered to be redeployed to organize and look after the migrant workers. Many Singaporeans stepped up too. Some went door to door distributing meals and groceries to the elderly and low-income households. Others refurbished donated laptops for needy students for home-based learning. Thousands of public-spirited Singaporeans volunteered to be trained for swab operations. They served in the hot zones, including the dormitories and community care facilities. Migrant workers too played their part to support these operations. Their help was deeply appreciated by our SAF, home team, and public officers. These selfless acts have made all the difference to our response to COVID-19. We will need this unity and resilience more than ever. The crisis is far from over. Many countries brought COVID-19 under control and eased restrictions only to see their cases rise sharply again. This can happen to us too, despite all our precautions. It will most likely take a year or two before a vaccine is widely available and the threat of the virus is blunted. Until then, we have to maintain our vigilance and resolve to keep ourselves, our loved ones and our neighbours all safe. We also need to be resilient in the face of the severe economic downturn. Singaporeans are understandably anxious and worried. Business closures, retrenchments and unemployment are all likely to go up in the coming months. But this is not the first economic crisis we have experienced. Just in the last quarter century, we've seen the Asian financial crisis, the aftermath, of the 9-11 terrorist attacks and the global financial crisis. Each time, the outlook was ominous and we feared the worst. But each time, we worked hard to secure our position, gritted our teeth and came through together. I am confident we will get through this current crisis too, though it may take longer. All of us must do our part, but none of us will be alone. The government is actively helping people find new jobs and acquire new skills. We also have the Job Support Scheme and Self-Employed Person Income Relief Scheme, SIRS, to ease the burden on employers and individuals. The labour movement is working with employers to create job training programmes and career pathways. It will also ensure that every worker is treated fairly and with dignity, especially when job losses cannot be avoided. Employers too must make every effort to keep their workers and not drop them at the first sign of trouble. This will build loyalty and encourage the employees to help their employers rebuild when conditions improve. Our experience fighting COVID-19, grim and hard as it has been, has brought us closer together. The shared ordeal will toughen a whole population and bond us together 
as one united people. Just like how the pioneer and Merdeka generations were tempered by separation and independence and economic crisis in our early years as a nation. Let us brace ourselves for the trials ahead so that many years from now, when our grandchildren celebrate National Day, they will look back on these times and say, yes, this generation stood together, sacrificed for one another, and built Singapore for us. Every National Day, we remind ourselves that Singapore is a nation whose story is worth celebrating, whose history is worth cherishing, and whose future is worth building. When we hold the National Day Parade at the Padang or at the float at Marina Bay, the audience can see the Marina Bay skyline in the background. Marina Bay used to be open sea, but we reclaimed the land around it, turned the ocean into a reservoir, and progressively built on the new land to create an outstanding and vibrant downtown. Looking out across the bay, you can immediately see how far Singapore has come and imagine the possibility and promise that Singapore holds. Today, when national service recruits complete their basic military training, they gather their family and friends at the float and hold their passing out parade there. It helps them to understand what they are defending and why generations of national servicemen have been willing to serve and sacrifice to defend this metropolis that we have built together and also the society that created all this our families, our friends, our lives, our future. Three years ago, I announced that we would rebuild the float into a permanent space to commemorate national service and the central role that NS plays in Singapore. And that we would name this space NS Square. The design contract has been awarded. This is how it will look like. The development will be aligned on a central axis with a promontory on the opposite side of the bay. The platform will become a red dot shining bright in our city. NS Square will be the central focus of our new downtown. We will build a gallery there to showcase our national service story and honor the contributions of national servicemen, past and present. NS Square will also be a community space for everyone, young and old, to enjoy. And of course, we will continue to hold our National Day parades there. This National Day, as we celebrate across the island, we will be saying the pledge and singing Majula Singapura in unison. Not aloud as usual because of COVID-19, but in our hearts with more feeling than ever. We have dreams to realize and goals to reach for. Let us show the world that whatever the challenges, Singaporeans will stay united and prevail once more. I wish everyone a very happy National Day. And that was uh, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong with his National Day message. Renee, yes. if uh, you know, we're just looking down here, the yeah, band the parade is has started. The marching band has just started playing. They've just marched in. Exactly. So yeah. the parade is going to be starting really soon. Uh, the parade will be forming. Right now, it's just uh, the uh, marching band, right? Uh, that is uh, playing the uh, marching instruments. Uh, again, uh, the spectators have already taken their seats. The yes. seats are seated far apart and uh, we have the frontline workers literally on, on the, the front line, front on the front line. row. The front row. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and this year's uh, National Day Parade of course it is to pay tribute um, to the frontline workers uh, you know who have uh, worked tirelessly against uh, the COVID-19 uh, battle. Yeah of course we are still waiting for our ministers to arrive uh, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong as well as President Halima Yaakob.
Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the parade will then take place. Again, they say it's a very subdued affair uh, with uh, only about 150 spectators. And in terms of uh, marching contingents, we have about five only. Yeah, yeah so right? it's a very scaled down parade this year. Yeah. But, but it's still going to be an exciting parade, I think, for all the spectators here who are watching and everyone exactly, who's watching at home. Exactly, exactly. It's still a very uh, celebratory mood yes. right here, right? And for those of you who are watching us, wherever you are as well, we are coming to you live from the Padang. She's Renee. And he's Harianto. And, you know, do keep your comments and birthday wishes coming. You know, a lot of people have been messaging us saying that they're tuning in from various locations around Singapore as well as overseas. Yeah, yeah. and uh, let us know, you know, what is it that you love about Singapore mm -hmm. or even your favourite NDP song. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. What was your favourite NDP memory, yeah, maybe? Exactly, yeah. right? You know, uh, for you, Rene, what is your favourite NDP moment? I think for me, it would be the SG50 NDP because that was a really huge year for all of us. Yeah, and it was as, also at the Padang at that time. Yes, it was here, right yeah, here at the Padang. Padang. I remember yes. uh, reporting back then as well yeah. uh, for SG50. And you were as well, I yes. believe, right? Yes. So yeah, that was a good uh, celebration. And five years later, here we are at the right Padang as again. well. Yes. A very different uh, kind of celebration, but still a celebration nonetheless. Yes, definitely. Yeah. 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 Let's take some comments, yeah? Yeah. Uh, everyone saying happy birthday Singapore from Anu Radha, from Sarah. Henry Lau says always cherish each year NDP ever since school days. Yeah, I love school days. Yeah, when we celebrate NDP. We were dressed up in red and we will, you know, they'll get us to sing all the National Day songs. It's a reason to not wear school uniform, yes, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, we have uh, somebody watching from Hong Kong. Yes, Duru and mm. Veronica Lind is tuning in from Australia. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see, we have one more here. Uh, we have. Razid that says happy 55th birthday Singapore and happy 5th birthday Manap oh. and Mansam, my twin oh. sons. Oh, so they share a birthday with Singapore. Yeah, oh, very goodness. nice. Again, for those of you <laughs> who have just uh, tuned in to us, make sure you leave your birthday messages for yes. Singapore in yes. the comment section below. Yeah, Whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube or even Twitter as well. Yes, and of course, yeah. uh, you know, tributes to frontline workers as well whom we are paying tribute to for this NDP. Yep. And uh, right now what is happening, of course, uh, you, you can uh, hear that is the marching band uh, mm -hmm. just giving an introduction before the marching contingent comes in. Yes, definitely. Mm, yeah? yep. And uh, as you can see, they are just uh, standing uh, further apart. I mean, of course, in a usual uh, marching contingent scene, mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's uh, one arm's length, but this is uh, a bit further, yes, right, because of, of uh, safe distancing measures. Yep. And the spectators are seated further apart as well. Now, most of them have already arrived and they're getting into the spirit, you know, by waving their Singapore flags. Yeah, and a lot of them yeah. are just in red as well. Yeah, yeah, dressing in red. And uh, later on, what's going to happen, Renee, is of course we're going to have uh, the usual uh, tradition of uh, the marching. Uh, contingents coming in and then we're gonna have the uh, presidential gun salute yes. and the feu de joie as well yes which is the fire of joy yep. and uh, that basically sums up uh, the morning celebration but of course throughout the whole day you know there are going to be activities uh, yes. which culminates to tonight's yep. evening yeah definitely <laughs> right yeah yep and uh, what is happening right now of course uh, the marching uh, contingents are coming in. Yeah, we can see them right now. You can see them right now. They are forming. Yep, so we only have about four mar marching contingents this year and though, you know, the parade is a lot more scaled down this year, you know, the people involved are just as, if not more, important to making it happen. So first, here's a look at how this year's parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Ong, takes on the role for a very different NDP. I have been through as a reserve parade commander last year with a full uh, parade. Uh, also in front of Padang and this year is also very special because I get to come back to Padang and this is where our first parade after our independence started in 1966. So uh, special to me this year is not just to commemorate our 55 years of independence but also to pay a tribute to our frontline fighters and Singaporeans who have contributed to the fight against the COVID-19. One of the challenges that we face so far is the uh, parade is conducted uh, uh, early in the morning and uh, this really is very different from the previous year's uh, National Day Parade. 
And therefore, when we are doing it in the morning, we actually have a shorter time for training before the full uh, truncated uh, rehearsal. The, one of the challenges this year is the uh, compressed uh, training time given to us. We could only start our training uh, after the circuit breaker ends. Hence, uh, we have to uh, find opportunity to make sure uh, all our condition comes together to train. And uh, we have specific uh, component training to build them up from uh, three times a week uh, at the start state. And when they are comfortable with their drills, we uh, end off with uh, twice a week of training. So as part of the enhanced uh, safe distancing measure, uh, it's necessary for us to wear a mask to ensure the safety of all participants. Uh, the mask that I'm wearing now is actually uh, gives me protection and uh, it's also very light and uh, soft. Hence, uh, I have no issue projecting my command throughout the parade. And that was uh, Parade Commander Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Ong. That is the Parade Commander. Yes. Uh, and it's a very um, a different parade this year, right, Renee? Yeah, because I... it's held, of course, uh, amid COVID-19. Yep. And uh, as he shared, uh, you know, his experience, uh, even though it's a little different, mm -hmm. you know, but the spirit is still there. Yeah, and I think I think probably put a lot more effort and preparation has to go into, you know, preparing this year's parade. Exactly. Because of the circumstances. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what you are seeing uh, on your screens now, the uh, contingents, they're just forming up and they're getting ready uh, for the marching, yes. right? And uh, as uh, we mentioned earlier on as well, uh, it is a scaled down uh, parade this year from mm -hmm. uh, the usual 30, over 30, right? Yes, to, uh, about to just only about five. Four, four or five contingents. Four or yes. five contingents, yes. uh, of course. Including there is the still, marching band, yes. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> there is still the Guard of Honor as well, mm -hmm. uh, contingent. Yeah. There's going to be marching in. And yeah, for those of you, of course, who are watching us right now, we are coming to you live from the Padang. And uh, let us uh, let your friends and your family members know that we are live on Facebook, YouTube and on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And keep your comments and birthday wishes coming. Mm. Uh, from the screen also, you can see uh, the spectators, about 150 this year. Again, scaled down from the usual tens of thousands uh, that we expect in previous years. And uh, everyone is just uh, seated apart with their masks on, uh, clad in red, yes, no less. Course. Yeah. Yeah, red or white and uh, if you see right now we're just zooming in uh, right at the first row is our frontline our, our frontline workers yeah, right? very nice and they're all you know clad in red national day spirit right there yeah and the parade is uh, ready to be marching in uh, very shortly and uh, you can watch that as well and uh, this year, you know, it's a uh, very spaced out uh, kind of formation. Of course, the usual, you know, marching uh, contingents, uh, they're already an arm's length. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, this is uh, even more far yeah. apart because yes, of safety yes, yes. measures. <laughs> there are more safety precautions in place this year. Mm. Yeah, we can see that. So the command uh, to get the parade to march in, the, the contingents to march into the parade yeah. has been sounded. And here they come!
course, uh, you are seeing pic live pictures of the marching contingents this year. Now, this year we only have four marching, marching contingents compared to 38 last year. And of course, you can see they are marching in unison, maintaining social distancing as well. And one of the marching contingents uh, is actually the Singapore Police Force Guard of Honour contingent, led by Contingent Commander DSP Lee Ting Wei. Here's more. NDP this year, we started training a bit later. So we have had a shorter runway to actually go train ourselves to the level of proficiency and coordination we need to execute the entire parade. So the main differences is more of logistics, administration, as well as the parade sequence because there are certain risk mitigation measures we have to put in place to ensure that our trainees train well but train safe. Right? So this includes wearing of masks, we have uh, safety distancing, and even the parade, the condition size is smaller. Uh, it's, it's challenging, uh, definitely, because uh, even in this period uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, SPF is also affected. Uh, we have um, uh, officers who are deployed for operations related to COVID. At the same time, we want to minimize the risk of cross infection, so we have to come up with uh, new measures to ensure that training is done safely. So this translates to workload, so that definitely the, 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 the work is still there. And then at the same time, uh, my baby daughter was born last year, December 2019. So she's about seven months old now. So as with all um, new parents, right, you get you, know, you have to juggle, you have to adapt to the routine, you know, and there's all the taking care of the baby. And of course, during these developmental years, you want to spend a bit more time with your kid. But I'm quite lucky to have a supportive uh, colleagues, my supervisor, who has uh, helped out. They, are, they understand my situation, they are also supportive for the endeavour, so they will help to fill in wherever they can. My mother as well, also, as I mentioned, she has uh, sort of and helped to take care of stuff at home as well, so I can have a bit more breathing space to train and to rest as well adequately, so that we all yeah, working together as a team. That's right, so we've heard from uh, the Agar of Honor Commander, right? Yes. That's right. For those of you who have just uh, joined us, a very warm welcome to you. I have to say this, Renee, once again for our viewers who have just joined us. Rise and shine, Singapore! Happy National Day! Yes, we are celebrating the nation's birthday right here at the Padang. And of course, you know, uh, you know, uh, the parade has started and dignitaries are starting to arrive. Uh, the ministers are starting to arrive. We have the Speaker of Parliament and mm -hmm. members of Parliament. Yeah. yeah, and uh, for those of you who are joining us, uh, make sure you leave your comments in the section, uh, comment section below. Let all your friends and family members know that we are online. Yes, all right? we are on Facebook so as well So the parade well as has YouTube. formed, yeah. and uh, we what we are seeing right now is uh, the Speaker of Parliament coming yes. in together with uh, the ministers yes. and the members of Parliament. Yeah. And mm. after this, we are just waiting for the arrival of our Prime Minister Lee Sen Loong, yeah. who is going to be arriving in the uh, motorcade, followed by. President Halima Yako <laughs> in her motorcade as yes, well. Yes, in her motorcade as right? well. And then the usual um, parade uh, processions will continue from there. Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, the ministers are just taking their seats right now. Uh, they were waving their flags, you know, to the rest of the spectators earlier, who include, you know, the frontline workers as well. Mm, and the frontline workers, they are literally at the front row. At the front row. At this of this parade. Yeah, but you, know? you see, the thing is, Rene, I think uh, it cannot be said enough that this year's NDP. It is paying tribute uh, to all uh, of them who have uh, worked tirelessly yes. during these uh, very difficult times, yeah, you know, yeah. amid the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Mm. I think it's a reminder, you know, to how much Singapore has gone through this year and we should celebrate our achievements as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, right here, of course, uh, we see ministers uh, clad in red and white. Mm -hmm. mm. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of our Prime Minister, Mr. Lee Sien Lung. And our Prime Minister Lee Sien Lung uh, has just uh, arrived in his motorcade. Yep. We have our spectators uh, standing up standing to up. welcome his arrival. Mm. Okay, from where we are, Renee, I can see his car. Yeah. And the motorcade. Now, of course, Prime Minister Lee Sen Loong delivered an address to the nation earlier. Mm. You know, at 10 a.m. You know, I think he has spoken to Singapore a lot this year. Yeah, actually, you yeah. know, amid this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, yeah. right? And Prime Minister has just uh, taken his position. And this is uh, the salute to our Prime Minister Lee Sen Loong.
uh, waiting for the arrival of our president, mm -hmm. President Halimah Yaakob, who will be arriving in her motorcade as well. Yes, exactly. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has just taken his seat with the other ministers, as well as the other spectators. Yeah. yeah. You know, something that I look forward to as well, uh, Rene, for every National Day celebration at uh, you know the Padang or wherever it is, it's uh, what the ministers are wearing. Ah, right. Because right. they always come up with... Um, yes. You know, very, very nice, nice outfits, outfits, red and white. Red and white. Some nice batik outfits. Yeah, some with batik prints. Yeah. You know, so that is something that I look forward to. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking good today as well. Oh, thank you. So yeah. are you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just waiting for the arrival of uh, President Halima Yaakob. Yeah. We'll be arriving uh, in a motorcade. Mm -hmm. uh, the parade has formed. And then later on, uh, what is going to happen is, of course, there is going to be the uh, president uh, inspection, right? Yeah, of the guard and of honor. Of the guard of honor, and then there is the uh, presidential gun, gun salute, salute, followed by the feu de joie, yes, or the fire of joy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing the marching contingent. Again, if you are watching us right now, we are coming to you live from the Padang. Because we are just awaiting the arrival of President Halima Yaakob right now. And again, uh, Rene, this year's celebration is very different. You know, it's held uh, amid a global pandemic, right? But of course, that hasn't dampened our spirits. In fact, you know, if anything, I think it has uh, brought all of us together to mm. stand united yeah. against uh, these uh, difficult times. Yes. To, you know, we are prepared to face the challenges ahead. Yeah, and to overcome it. Yes. Right, as definitely. a nation, yeah. as a Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, this year's, uh, this year's celebration is very subdued as well. We have uh, about 150 spectators, yeah. down from the tens of thousands uh, yes. that we've had in previous yes. years. Yeah. Okay, so we've just heard the command that uh, President Halima Yaakob is arriving. Mm -hmm. In her motorcade. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see from your screen right there. All the ministers and spectators have just stood up to welcome her arrival. So, President Halima Yaakob is here. She'll be stepping out of her car very soon. Yep. There she is. Looking very elegant as well yeah. in red and white. Yes. And we have uh, spectators waving uh, their flags. Towards her. Yeah. And of course, this is President Halima Yaakob's third parade as president. Ah, third. That is uh, the salute to Madam President. And we are seeing the state flag fly. And up in the sky is the state flag and this is the national anthem moment that is all across Singapore.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Wow. You know, every time when it's the state fly pass, uh, Flag, uh, fly pass, I just get goosebumps. Yeah, you know, it's a very emotional moment. Yeah, a very patriotic moment, right? Yeah, very patriotic moment. Yeah. And in fact, you know, it is even more special because this year the national anthem moment uh, is uh, together, right? Yeah, it's Have happening across the island at seven other locations, yeah. other than the Padang as well. Mm, which you yeah. saw uh, on our screens as well, right? Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What you just heard was the presidential gun salute right behind us. Yeah, which really got a shock yes. from. So what is happening now is uh, President Halima Yaakob is going to be uh, doing an inspection yes. of the contingents. Yes, of right? the Guard of Honor contingents. She is making her way right there. And this presidential gun salute, of course, it is uh, paying salute, uh, paying, uh, it's, it's, it's a salute, a sign of salute mm -hmm. uh, to the president yes. of Singapore. Yeah. yeah. Again, for those of you who are joining us right now, we are coming to you live from the Padang and uh, we are live on our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter pages. Let all your friends and family members know. But more importantly, leave your birthday messages for Singapore and tell us, you know, what is it that you love about Singapore? Yes, definitely. Mm. <laughs> and we are, of course, listening to the presidential gun salute right behind us, the 21 gun salute. Which, which you is, got a shot from. Yes, I got a shot from. <laughs> It is loud, right? It, it is, is loud. loud. It is very loud where yeah. we are. But, you know, Rene, I have to say though, the weather here, it's amazing. You know, it's clear skies, mm -hmm. bright skies. It's a little warm, but hey, you know, it's yeah. windy at the same time. I think it's a perfect day mm -hmm. to have this morning celebration. Actually, it's getting a bit smoky behind us from yeah, the gun yeah. salute. <laughs> because of the uh, gun salute yeah. but uh, really you know just now I just want to talk a bit more about the uh, state uh, flag fly pass earlier yeah. on yeah. as uh, the flag just uh, breezes through you know up in the sky across uh, against the backdrop of uh, Singapore's uh, you know Marina Bay Sands landscape it is beautiful yeah and of course that will be going to the heartlands as well so maybe you will be able to see that from your window if you're watching at home mm. Uh, again, it is a very subdued celebration uh, here at the Padang. There are about uh, four contingents, including the marching band, that is five. And then uh, we only have about 150 spectators, down yeah. from the usual tens of thousands uh, in the previous years. Mm -hmm. But everyone's still very excited, as you can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the frontline workers, they are literally on the front oh, row. No, on the front row, yes. yeah. <laughs> And uh, right at the uh, for the marching contingents as well, they're all spaced out um, further, a bit further than usual because mm -hmm. of safe distancing measures. Uh, they have masks on, and uh, right now, as you can see, um, President Halima Yaakob. Or what we can see from where we are, President Halima Yaakob, uh, traditionally, of course, uh, she speaks uh, to the members of. The, the Guard of Honor contingent. Contingent, yeah. And of course, what you're hearing is the presidential gun salute that is being fired as a military honor for the president. Mm. Okay. And of course, uh, you know, we are hearing the sounds of the presidential gun salute. Uh, we caught up with 3rd Sergeant Roy o, who is part of the team, ensuring that it goes smoothly. Here's a look. It's my first time taking part in NDP this year and I feel very honoured and proud to be able to represent Singapore to fire a 21 gun salute uh, for, the, for Singapore and to the President. It is the first time that a PGS is held in Padang Field for National Day Parade. Previously for NDPs, the PGS guns are fired on the MCGs on the waters because of uh, concern that the fragments of the shells may uh, fly around it. For this year, we are able to do it here because uh, we, ha we have put into several uh, measures. Uh, one, one measure is that uh, we blocked off the path, we blocked off the road uh, near the PGS guns that is firing so that uh, there, will, there will not be any public uh, around the PGS guns when it's firing. Uh, also, we have deployed sentries near the, uh, at the axis of the road to ensure that no, no, no one will enter the range of the PGS guns. Uh, me and my team have faced some challenges uh, because uh, due to this COVID-19 situation. However, me and my uh, guys have 
uh, train very hard because uh, it's for the NDP and they are very motivated to uh, do their best. So uh, eventually, they, they, uh, with their determination, they are able to execute the drills and uh, marching properly. There we have it. So what's happening right now, as you can see on your screen, President Halima Yaakob is uh, doing a inspection of the, the contingent. Of contingent. Yes. Yep. And you know, another perennial favourite of uh, NDP is the mobile column. And this year, they are reaching in deeper into the heartlands. Yeah. We have our colleague, uh, Suen Chow, who's with the mobile column that's happening at uh, Kutik Puat right now. Yes. Thank you, Harianto. So I'm currently standing outside Kutekwa Hospital. And as you can see, the mobile column is just rolling past, saluting the healthcare workers as it goes. So I'm actually standing here with 30 of Kutekwa frontline staff as well as medical staff. And you know, we're all, we're all excitedly awaiting them uh, as they salute. So because uh, we are trying to dedicate most of NDP to the healthcare workers this year, these uh, mobile columns are saluting our healthcare workers as they roll by. Uh, as you can hear, it's very, very loud here, so I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, there are a lot of Singaporeans excitedly standing along the streets and uh, looking at the tanks and vehicles. So um, this year, the five routes that are travelling through the heartlands will comprise about 22 different types of vehicles, including those from the SCDF, the police force and the Singapore Armed Forces. Uh, they will include a variety of old and newer vehicles, including the police force's uh, newest fast response car. So, as you can see, there are also healthcare workers on board a lot of these mobile column vehicles. There are about 100 who are currently fighting the COVID pandemic and who are on board these vehicles uh, in a bit to appreciate them and appreciate their efforts. So, uh, this year, the mobile column will spend about 200 kilometres, which is the longest mobile column in the heartlands to date. So if you happen to be living somewhere along these five routes, it might be a good idea to look out your window and, and have a look at and have a look at you know these vehicles which are really quite impressive in person. For now that's it for us here at Kutikpot Hospital. Happy National Day Singapore. Thank you, Suen. So what is happening here? myself <laughs> <laughs> it's very loud this is the feu de joie or yeah. the fire of joy yeah, yeah that is happening yeah uh, the Where contingents the are firing contingents fire their rifles into the air <laughs> Whew. wow <laughs> it's amazing uh, the synchronized movements yeah the synchronicity of uh, the whole uh, contingent right here. So earlier on, uh, we caught up with uh, Suen. Suen was uh, at uh, Kutik Port Hospital where mobile column, the military vehicles uh, were rolling uh, in that area and yes. uh, that is uh, paying tribute uh, and Throughout saluting frontline the workers. frontline workers there. Yeah, man, of course, frontline workers are also aboard the mobile column for the very first time. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's, I think it's a very special moment, right, for them. In fact, you know, we also saw Singaporeans lining up along the roads as well, mm. uh, joining in the celebration. And I think this yeah, is yeah, something yeah. special about uh, this year's celebration, right? Is yeah. that it's not centralised at one location like in previous years, where be it it's at the Padang or at the uh, floating platform. We are fanning across Singapore. And mm. in fact, our coverage this morning as well, we have uh, all our colleagues all across Singapore. Yes, and of course, you know, if you are tuning in, do tell us where you are, where you are from, and leave your comments and birthday wishes for Singapore. Exactly. You know, Rene, I love the mobile column a lot because, you know, I've, I've always loved military vehicles. Yeah. So that is something that I look forward to every every single year at the, at the NDP and you know for it to kind of like go deeper into the heartlands so that everybody get to enjoy mm. I think that is a very priceless moment yeah, it's not yeah. every day you get yeah. to see military vehicles yeah. on your roads exactly exactly yeah? yeah it's very special it's not just at the Padang right you know, exactly you can see exactly. it from your home like outside mm. your window and what is happening now at the uh, national uh, at where we are at the parade uh, we have the frontline uh, workers they are they formed up yep and this is uh, the moment where we pay tribute yes to course, uh, our frontline workers mm -hmm. right 
They give Bing a special salute. Okay, so as you can see, up on the sky, we have the fly past. Yes. Of the F-15 jets. Very stunning and aerial yeah, display. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that is uh, forming the Delta Formation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. F-15 yep. uh, jets. And that was the roar of unity as you see it. And yeah. again, that is also <laughs> paying tribute uh, to our frontline workers. Yeah. Again, we cannot emphasize and we cannot stress enough, Renee, that you know this year's celebration, it is a tribute uh, to our frontline workers who have worked tirelessly on the front line, literally, yes. right? And I think the past eight months have not been easy for them. And they have really you know, put in a lot of effort and sacrificed a lot. Exactly. Yeah. So we now have uh, Yo Sam Jo, who is with the Singaporean family at Coven. Let's check in with him. Hello, everyone. Back at Coven, I'm Sam Jo. I am with the Swas. The Swas, of course, I'm referring to uh, Lieutenant Shidan Swas family. As you can see, they're all behind me. We're on their rooftop area. And they are waiting for Shidan. He's one of the six F-15 pilots who will be doing the Raw of Unity fly pass. They're coming by any moment. You can probably hear them. And of course, it's a super meaningful uh, NDP for them. Because this is the first time that you know, their son slash husband slash brother will actually be um, taking part uh, in the NDP and also actually flying one of the six uh, fighter jets in this War of Unity fly pass that will be making a few passes around the heartland. Uh, so. We're expecting them to come around any moment. It's a half an hour fly past. They're super excited. You can hear them. Can you hear him? Can you hear him yet? It will go behind. It will go behind? They're flying there. They're flying there. They're flying there. You want to go there? Okay, okay. They're going there. They're going there now. Oh, there. Woo! Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. So what you guys just saw, um, the Swa family, uh, they actually just saw Lieutenant Shidan Swa. He's one of the, he's actually the most junior pilot in the Raw of Unity fly pass. They just flew past uh, the heartlands in the, Del in the Delta formation. Okay. So we're going to check in with the family in a bit, but we're going to cut back to the Padang. I believe there's some action over there. Back to you guys, Rene and Yan. Okay, so what is happening right now, Rene, is uh, the marching contingents, they are marching past, mm. right? They are leaving the parade. Yep, yep. And of course, thanks to Sam Joe, you know, who brought us very nice scenes of the family watching the aerial fly past from home. And it's a very uh, special family because yes. one of the family members, in fact, is uh, one of the pilots yeah. right, of the uh, fly pass, the F-15 fly pass. So I think it's a very proud moment for them, a very you know, exciting moment for the family. Well. Definitely. Yeah. So we have uh, our 100 and about 150 spectators now on their feet, uh, waving their flags, waving their flags as the contingents march past. Yes. Very special celebration this year, very different, but I think it is 
equally meaningful as well yes, exactly. because of the situation that we are in this year. Yeah, and I think it's a, lot, it's a bit more intimate as well, you know, because we have all the elements of the parade which are usually at the Padang, but this year they are going into the heartlands, you know, yeah. to go right to the homes of Singaporeans. Yeah, very personal, yeah. right? Yes. And everybody gets to enjoy it yeah. from wherever they are. Yes. I think that's the whole idea. Yeah. yeah? So, we have uh, President Halima Yaakob right now just uh, going over to speak uh, to the frontline workers yes. who are on the first row. Right, and Prime Minister Lee Sin Lung as well. Mm. Uh. On both sides, because there are two blocks, yes. right? Two blocks of uh, spectators. They are seated on either side of the ministers. Yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, President Halima Yaakob now, as you can see on your screen. She is going to be speaking to the uh, frontline workers. Yeah. And we cannot stress enough again, Rene, that this year it is very special, a very special celebration because we are paying tribute uh, to the frontline workers who have been in the past eight months, you know, uh, putting themselves uh, on the front line, li yes, literally, definitely. against COVID-19. They have COVID worked hard and they have sacrificed a lot. And I'm sure many of them are even still working today on National Day. For sure. So we want to pay tribute to them. So President Halima Yaakob is going to be taking her leave. Uh, her motorcade has already arrived. Uh, she's just going to wrap up, you know, speaking to our frontline workers before she takes her leave. Yes. Everyone's excited to see her. They're all waving their flags at her. You are right, Rene. You know, it is a very... Where we are right now at the Padang, right? Uh, of course, you know, in the past years, it's a grand celebration. Very big, very loud. They say it's very different, mm. of course. Very subdued. But I think we can still feel that uh, National Day spirit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, the motorcade is arriving as well mm -hmm. for uh, Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung. Yeah. They are both saying their last words to the frontline workers, who of course are spectators at this year's parade before they take their leave. And the ministers uh, and uh, members of parliament, they are taking their leave as well. Mm -hmm. uh, with... Uh, you know, clad in red and white again, yes. with their flags in and hand. And their fun packs. I see the fun packs. <laughs> Sorry? The fun packs. The fun packs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fun packs. I think from where we are right here... Yeah. Uh, we can we hear can the hear mobile, mobile column, column. <laughs> pass by the Padang. <laughs> You know, this is a uh, fun pack. I love it so much, uh, Rene. You know, it comes with all the essentials, uh, your hand sanitizers, your mask, your temperature. Again, you know, a reminder that while we are battling COVID-19, we're in a very uh, different situation, there is still, you know, uh, that spirit there to celebrate yeah. and to celebrate uh, how far we've come, yes. you know, as a nation, yeah. as Singapore. And of course, to unite also as we continue fighting this battle. Okay, Madam uh, Halima Yaakob is uh, taking her leave right now. Mm -hmm. The spectators are waving their flags to send her off clapping her motorcade uh, has just left now Prime Minister Lee Sen Long once uh, he's done speaking with the frontline workers he will be taking his leave in his motorcade as well yep
from where we are, Rene, ah. we can see the uh, F-15. Okay. Yes, they're making their second round around the Padang. Yeah. Against the backdrop of Marina Bay Sands. Yeah. Very lovely indeed. Yes. Must be incredibly difficult and challenging to fly in formation like that. For sure, for yes. sure. And it's the Delta formation, yeah. right? Where <laughs> it looks like an arrowhead, yes. right? Okay. And uh, they've got to make sure that it's synchronized, you know, everyone is at where they're supposed to be, yes. pos in position. Yeah. So Prime Minister Lee Sen Long is uh, going to be taking his leave uh, very soon from the Padang. We do see uh, Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen as well waving uh, to the frontline workers. Mm -hmm. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen speaking to the frontline workers again seated uh, at the front row yeah. of the spectators. Of course, Defence Minister has said, you know, it's even more important to celebrate uh, National Day Parade this year mm -hmm. because of all that we've been through. And we've never missed a single uh, NDP celebration of come rain or shine. Yes, since 1966. Here. Can you believe it? Goodness. Yeah, yeah, it's been 55 years we are celebrating Singapore's 55th birthday right here. Yeah. Since independence, yeah? And how apt the song that is playing right now. We will get there. We will get to the end and yes, overcome COVID-19. Yeah. Prime Minister Lee Sien Lung is taking his leave right now in his motorcade. He's being sent off by Defence Minister Ng Hin as well as the other spectators. So we have, uh, the parade has just wrapped up here at the Padang, but uh, celebrations are still ongoing across Singapore. And in fact, we have our colleague Yosem Jo, who's with the family right now. Uh, they are very excited for this National Day. Let's check in with uh, Sam Jo. Hi, Jan. Yes, we're back in Coven. I am with the Swas. Harry. Uh, Happy National Day, everyone. Happy National, Happy National Day. Day. So we're here because, as you know, you might have seen us earlier, uh, we were watching uh, Lieutenant Shidan Swa and his fellow fighter pilots in the F-15s doing the Raw of Unity fly past and they flew over this very house in which he lives. And your, how do you all feel about that? I mean, Dr. Swa, that was your son up there. Yeah, was how, awesome. What was going through your mind? That was really awesome, really. Seeing me fly in the air, you know, from this side and that side. <laughs> so I'm really, very really happy. Yeah. Do you think he could see you from up there? I, mean, he, I, I think he's concentrating on flying. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a wise idea, yes. yes, yes yeah. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Swa, I know that uh, you know both of you are actually from uh, the healthcare industry, right? And this fly pass is actually also a tribute to you know, frontline workers uh, amid this whole COVID pandemic. How does that make you feel? I feel very uh, grateful that um, the whole nation is behind the frontliner and the essential workers. Um, supporting them moving forward. Um, really, really grateful. And on that note, I also want to say Happy National Day to all the frontliner and the essential workers who are working now while we are enjoying the program. So, thank you very much. Appreciate. Thank you. I'm sure they really appreciate We appreciate, I mean, you two being in the industry also. Thank you so much for all the hard work that you put in. And thanks to all our frontline workers. So I'm going to move on a little bit, have a little like Q&A for um, all the excited family members, you know. Um, I'm sure you all do this every year. Akong, Kong, have you seen the son of Shidan? Are you happy? Akong is 99 years old uh, this year, by the way, and like super strong and fit, you know, and um, uh, it's very rare to have like a four-generation family like that, you know, celebrate National Day and special occasions like that together. So it's, we're very happy to have everyone here and thanks for having us here. This is Myrna. Myrna is... Uh, <laughs> Myrna's a very special member of the family. She actually took care of uh, Shadan when Shadan was about this age, you know, a very tiny baby. How does it make you feel seeing him fly up there today? 
because I'm so happy for Shidan. Yeah. So excited to see him flying over us here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's yeah. All. Thanks, Mona. Pauline, you are his wife. Yes. And this is your little girl, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Oh. Hi, Chloe. Chloe, you want to wave to Singapore? Oh. Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Yes. yes. <laughs> Chloe just learned to wave last week, yes, right? She yeah. Did. <laughs> Do you think she knows what's going on? That it's her papa that's up there? Well, every week during his rehearsal, we do point it out to her. Um, I think she's a little young now, but we just expose her and hope that one day when we look back at the photos and videos, you know, she'll have a clearer understanding of what was going on and that she was there to be a part of it. Yeah, and you guys have all this as the memory, as yeah. photos and videos as memories as well. Exactly. I just want to ask, because I know, you know, having to rehearse for this special occasion, uh, Shidan had to spend a lot of time away, you know, with rehearsals and all that. Like, you know, but do you feel like this was all worth it for this moment? Yes, definitely. I mean, beyond the rehearsals, his usual working hours are very long as well. It, a lot of early mornings and late nights, uh, sacrifices and time away from family is expected. But I guess at the end of the day, we all know that there's a bigger meaning behind his job and that is, you know, protecting our defence, the defence of Singapore. And yeah. we are very proud of him for doing so. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, I bet you guys are. Yeah. And I just want to come over very quickly before we end off. But this is uh, Shireen Shidan's sister as well as Sean, his brother-in-law. Hi, guys. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Thoughts? You just saw Shidan fly <laughs> and, you know, I mean, you're celebrating, you're celebrating National Day together as a family, as yeah. usual. Like, how's, is it a special, more special that your brother's involved this time yeah, around? Yeah, of course. I mean, he always wanted to be a pilot. So it's really great to see him flying. And I think he's... he's, he's oh, here he comes again. Yeah. Is he, he's coming again. He's coming. Where, where, where? Oh, he's coming above. Do you see that? Woo! And there we go. The Swa family. See Shidan and his fellow pilots fly past one more time. Okay, and guys, I guess this pure emotion is all you really need to see. I don't have any more questions for you all. Birthday wishes for Singapore. Happy birthday, Singapore, right? Okay, um, this is really exciting and it's so festive. Back to you guys at the Padang. See you. Bye. Thanks, Sam Joe. Thanks, Sam Joe. Wow, that was really exciting to see, you know, and very heartwarming as well from all the different uh, members of the family watching yeah. the fly pass of their son, like their husband. Three generations right, yeah, of family yeah. right there. From yeah. the 99 year old grandpa to the nine month old baby, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we also have our colleague Olivia Kuei, mm -hmm. who's at uh, Sinkang General Hospital. Oh, yes, of course, we saw the Red Lions parachute uh, into the heartlands earlier. Let's go over to Olivia now to see what's happening. Thank you so much, Renee and Harian. So now I'm outside Sinkang General Hospital, where, of course, we are just waiting for the Red Lions to. Uh, for, uh, to salute the 12 healthcare professionals over here in Sekang. And I'm not alone. I'm joined by Associate Professor Ong uh, Xiao Chi, who is, of course, the uh, chairman of the medical board here at Sengkang General Hospital. Now, Professor Ong, how do you feel about you know, your hospital being part of the National Day celebrations this year? Of course, we're very excited. This is the first time that uh, National Day has been brought to a healthcare facility. Yep. And of course, Sengkang Hospital being uh, new, we are very excited and we hope that of course this is something that engages everybody. We are part of the community and um, we have had to work uh, quite well with the SEF and all the other participants, our uniform groups as well. So I, I think this is a very, very special occasion for the healthcare workers and we find that it's really exciting. Right. Well, that's fantastic to hear. Now, Professor Ong, of course, Sengkang uh, is one of the hospitals that has been caring for our COVID-19 patients for a few months now. So maybe you can give us some details on to how has it been? Um, of course, when it first started, it's, a, it's a very challenging. But I think it's part of the healthcare work, right? Mm. I mean, we just have to everybody accommodate, help each other get over the fears, protect everybody. And I think we are very happy that today, or yesterday, S11, which is the closest dorm to us, was uh, cleared. And um, that's a dorm that we have seen a lot of workers. And even now, we still see some workers coming on and off from other places as well, right? So, of course, uh, we, we try our best, and I think the whole team has really come up together, right? Um, even our back-end, uh, non-frontline people have also come forward. So this team here with us, it's actually a representation of all our teams, frontline, um, volunteers, security, everybody is just important. So
also, you know, with the red lions coming to salute, I think it's, it's really very, very special for them. Right. right. Well, Professor Ong, uh, you know, we are just waiting for the red lions to just... So, guys, bef just to give you more information, we are waiting for the red lions to march by, do their salute to the 12 healthcare professionals that uh, Professor Ong just said. So, Professor Ong, you know, it's a very different NDP this year. You know, it's moving to the heartlands. Like, we have dozens of Sengkang residents joining us as well. So, how do you feel about... I mean, it's a change from past years, but how do you feel about the, 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 the parade coming to the heartlands this year? Yes, um, you see, there's a mobile column. Yes, I got to cut it by. short, Professor Ong, because the mobile column is coming by the crowd welcoming the different assets coming by and in front of you you can see the six red lions just waiting and if they get this right they will be able to march by as the mobile column now of course um, not only are there army personnel on these mobile columns, there are about a hundred healthcare professionals on these mobile columns, on the mobile column as well. So it's a really nice touch into this overall tribute to frontline fighters. And there we go, what beautiful. See, people are cheering here. Some of our staff are here as well on the mobile column. Yeah, you can hear Professor Ong saying some of the stuff over at Senka. They are on that very mobile column. That's why the crowd is really just cheering them on, showing their support. Now, this is a rare sight. And of course, the mobile column is uh, going to be traveling uh, about 200 kilometers around Singapore across, uh, throughout the afternoon until 1 p.m. So I urge you to, you know, if it is going by your neighborhood, go out give a round of applause to all these uh, to all to to our to our army personnel and of course to our frontline fighters who are on this mobile column and the mobile column keeps going on we see a few more vehicles coming up and at the same time we are waiting if you can see in the camera shot there are six red lions who just landed in a field about maybe two hours ago here they go they will be saluting 12 healthcare professionals. There we have it. So Olivia uh, is at Sengkang General Hospital where earlier on the Red Lions uh, just uh, did their landing there. Mm -hmm. Of mm. course, and of course uh, it's a tribute to frontline workers as well where we watch the salute, I think, to the yeah. frontline workers. Yeah, and the mobile column also passing by as mm -hmm. well at uh, Sengkang General Hospital. Yeah. I think again, what is really nice to see, Renee, is that uh, Singaporeans uh, just uh, there as well joining in the celebration. Yeah, and I think it's very special that you know the parade is going into the heartlands this year to give everybody a chance. Yeah. You know, to watch the Red Lions, the Mobile Column, you know, all these elements. And again, yeah. for those of you who are watching us right now, we're coming to you live uh, from the Padang. Now, the parade has wrapped up here at the Padang, but of course, uh, celebrations are still ongoing mm -hmm. across Singapore. And mm -hmm. later at night also, that is the second segment, which is the evening show. Yeah. Of mm. course, and that will be very exciting as well. Yeah, yeah, and throughout the day, there will be activities uh, for all Singaporeans to partake in, mm -hmm. uh, to just join in the celebration. It is a long weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it is a beautiful it Sunday. Is. It is. We have very nice weather today. Very yeah. thankful for that. <laughs> exactly. And earlier on, of course, uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Kimberly, Kimberly Zhao, uh, who is at uh, Changi Airport. She was uh, at Changi Airport because of the uh, national anthem moment. Yes, of right? course. And she got to speak to Transport Minister Ong Yi Kang. Here's a look. First time in my life to go through a national day in this format. Uh, different locations, um, including the Padang, schools, hospital, and of course here, Changi Airport. But here as a location, I think it's different from the rest. 
let's say in schools or in hospital or the community, they were working really hard, all the personnel involved in those places, working really hard to make sure life go back as per normal, as much as possible. Here is different. We spent more than 40 years building up Singapore as an air hub and COVID-19 decimated aviation. And so for us, it's not life as per normal. Here, we hope that in the months, weeks ahead, we will start the process of regaining and reviving our air hub status. So the work starts really here. Um, air traffic may be low, but spirits are high. Early this morning, I visited the Changi uh, control tower. Spirits are high, and I think we'll work together to revive our air, air hub again. And that was uh, the newly minted uh, Transport Minister Ong Ye Kang speaking at uh, Changi Airport, yes. where one of the national anthem uh, moments uh, took place mm -hmm. earlier on at about 10.30 a.m., mm -hmm. right? So, Rene, you know, we talked about uh, the morning celebration here at the Padang. There is yes. going to be an evening show that is happening at Star Vista. In fact, you had a sneak peek. I did actually. Of the show. Yeah. Yeah. How was it? It was very nice actually. It was like a live concert. You know, there were performances, you know, by singers like Nathan Hartono, Charlie Lim. And I think there was going to be a special uh, duet, an English version of the song performed by JJ Lin and Stephanie Sun, which I think oh. everyone's looking forward to. Okay. So yes. Renee went to uh, went for the media preview and let's take a look. Group performances, a virtual choir, lighting up the night sky across the island. Singaporeans can look forward to a very different National Day Parade evening show this year, which they can participate in from the comfort of their own homes. Broadcast live from the Star Performing Arts Centre, the show comprises six acts set around the COVID-19 pandemic. This is the first time the NDP show is being conducted indoors and was conceptualised to be best enjoyed on the screen. And so in terms of the camera angles and how we are going to capture, right, it's very much catered to, to individual. Uh, there will be more close-ups and also we will also have films uh, because this is the medium that uh, reaches out to the TV audience. Stories of everyday Singaporeans form the centrepiece of the show, showcased through a series of short films and performances. Those watching at home will be encouraged to sing along to familiar National Day songs and recite the pledge as a nation at 8.20pm. They can also join in the light-up moment, turning on their phone torch lights to pay tribute to Singapore's frontline workers. Singer-songwriter Nathan Hartono, who performs this year's NDP theme song, says he could not contain his excitement at being part of the show. I, I'm really just so curious to like how the audience is going to take it. Because again, this, this year's show is going to... It's not only going to look different, but it's going to feel very different as well. Um, it's going to feel more like a love letter than a big bash. But this time round, it's very different because we don't have much audience watching the show. So we need to have, draw the energy from the performers around us because we always create so much of energy and um, motivation for each other. For this year's show, organisers took care to ensure the safety of participants. They have to take two swap tests and rehearsals are conducted across staggered timings and separate locations. The dance choreography was also designed to incorporate social distancing. For one veteran performer who works in a hospital, this year's show will be especially meaningful. Special, extra special this year. I feel like it's like a jigsaw puzzle and we are all the pieces putting it together. As one Singaporean, no matter what our background is. So it's very heartwarming. This has been a very challenging year to organise NDP, but it has also been a very meaningful journey for all of us uh, on the team. We hope that through these stories that we're going to share through NDP, Singaporeans can appreciate the kindness and the compassion that have taken place throughout this unprecedented year and that we can continue to look forward with optimism and hope and emerge stronger as a country.
I'm excited now to watch yeah. uh, the evening show. <laughs> and in fact, later on, uh, we have our very own sh- evening show as well that it's happening on Straits Times Facebook, YouTube and Twitter pages as well. That is happening at 8.15pm tonight, 8.15. There will be the fireworks uh, display as well. We're yes. going to be showing the fireworks display. So be sure to tune in later at 8.15pm. Uh, yes, of course. And of course, you know, we are celebrating Singapore's 55th birthday today, of course. And uh, one uh, special... Special para-athlete Sharif Abdullah is actually running 55 kilometers to mark this milestone for the nation. Right, so here's a look at how he is completing this feat. Covid is something like a marathon. You see, the first one kilometer is just the beginning of the Covid where everybody gets panicked and so on. But the moment you reach 21 kilometers to 25 kilometers, that is the beginning of the half of the marathon that everyone, one Singaporean united, everybody work together by staying positive. When you see someone who are lowing down, motivate them, tell them, hey, we are together. I'm Mohamed Sharif Abdullah, also known as Singapore Blade Runner. We are planning to run our 55 kilometer. The first of all is to celebrate our nation's 55th birthday. Okay, we want to thank our frontline workers. These doctors and nurses, their jobs, it's not an easy job. You know, they spend their time, they spend their life, you know, for saving others. My team, the Northern Paces of Singapore, is planning, said, hey, let's do something great by running, starting from Yishun, Block 749. Then from there, we'll run all the way, stopping at Yishun Hospital and Kuteport Hospital. From there, we'll run all the way, right to the ending point, which will be at Tampanese Hub. After that run, we're going to do a live recite pledge together with my team, five to six of them. Then uh, we will dedicate uh, this thing to Singaporean temperatures. Rain or shine, we still have to go on. Those days are a bit of challenges because in Kampong days, I don't have a prosthetic leg. So what I need to do, I need to crawl around, hop around and so on. But in 1975, my father bought for me a prosthetic leg, looks like a cane design. So the moment I got a, a leg, I feel happy because I can run, I can play catching with my friends and so on. While I was working as a site security specialist, my stump, there's a skin infection. And I went to SGH and the doctor told me uh, they need to amputate 5 inches of the stump. I feel sad because 5 inches of the stump they're going to amputate, so I'm going to sit at the wheelchair who going to feed my family, my kids and so on. So at that period of time, I remembered I almost want to give it up, you know. But I was inspired by a South African sprinter. I was telling myself, hey, if he can run without both prosthetic, why not me? Early 2009, I decided, I said, hey, no, let's make it happen. I started to get a, a prosthetic leg. I start to run because I believe running helps and your mind will think about what are the challenges, the problems that you are facing, how that you want to overcome it. Actually, this year I have a plan, plan to go and climb at Mount Kinabalu, but COVID-19 situation, that's where the idea of running together so this is where I set up my team. Doesn't matter what race or religion you are. Together, we run. We salute you. Never, never give up. You know, the job that you have done, you satisfy your life, you spend your time in the hospital saving someone. We dedicate this to you and we salute to you. We say thank you, doctor and nurses, and thank you to all other frontline workers. They too are the heroes of our nation.
Now, well said indeed. Again, we cannot stress enough that this year's NDP celebration is very different and it is a tribute uh, to our frontline workers who have been working tirelessly on the front lines yes. uh, against this COVID-19 mm. backdrop. Yep, and they're right? still working hard. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I have just some comments right here. Uh, people just expressing their gratitude as well to frontline workers. We have Aloysius Lim, we have Janet Ko, we have... Uh, Chen Mei Singh that say, you know, uh, thank you, frontline workers. Keep up the good work. Happy birthday, Singapore. It's been a wonderful morning here yes. at the Padang. How are you feeling right now, Rene? <laughs> I'm good, actually. I, you know, a little bit tired, but still excited. <laughs> excited, right? Yeah. I think even though, again, you know, the uh, celebration is very subdued uh, this year. Very small turnout, you know, 150 spectators only because of safe distancing measures. But the celebratory mood is still can still be felt. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Now, before we go, of course, uh, again, uh, do not miss out on our fireworks uh, show that's happening mm -hmm. uh, tonight at 8.15 p.m., 8.15. Mm -hmm. And that is happening across all our platforms, uh, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter pages. In the meantime, as you wait for our show later in the evening, check out our NDP uh, playlist on YouTube yes. where we host you know an array of uh, NDP videos right there yeah, definitely and uh, you know be sure to enjoy the fireworks display from home because we will be streaming that live exactly as well. <laughs> so it's been a wonderful morning yep. very fulfilling indeed we hope you guys have enjoyed our show as well and on behalf of uh, all our colleagues on uh, behalf of Straight Times also we would like to wish uh, Singapore a happy 55th birthday once again she is Renee and he is Harianto and, and you know happy 55th birthday Singapore you know and a huge thank you to all our frontline workers who continue to make sacrifices every day and keep Singapore going that's right happy birthday Singapore